Most of the available instructional materials regarding aerobatics concentrate on precision. While this is valuable for advanced pilots, beginners and intermediate pilots need help mastering the building blocks. The most basic building block is straight and level flight. While simple, it is worthy of practice. Many people are able to fly loops and rolls, but when these maneuvers are connected by wavy spasmodic transitions, the overall effect is diminished. The key to straight and level flight is to keep the aircraft at a constant altitude. Practice until you are able to make several passes without significantly climbing or descending. One of the reasons to practice straight and level flight is to get practice using the aircraft's rudder. The rudder allows you to make corrections to the aircraft's ground track without banking. You may find the rudder difficult to use at first, but it is the key to gaining mastery in aerobatics and it should not be avoided. Straight and level flight becomes more complicated in crosswind situations. I've turned off the wind for the recordings I'm making, but you should turn it on and practice with various wind settings until you've learned to keep the aircraft where you want it. It's important to start and finish each practice session with a controlled takeoff and landing. A lot of people enjoy crashing when they fly simulators, but this can cause bad habits to form. Remember that there is no reset aircraft button when you are at the flying field. <laughs>